So you still want to know what happened to that chicken? I want to know what happened after you collected <laughs> the fried rice and chicken. Let's start from there. Larry J is our guest this morning. He's a comedian and actor and radio host. So what happened to you after eating that fried um, rice and chicken? Like they say, um, to God be the glory. <laughs> um, because some of us, we are nice, we are good, we are calm, we walk on the streets and people feel like, oh, we are very okay. But really and truly it's because we have really died before and resurrected, do you understand? You have died and resurrected? Yeah. So you died that day? At Ikuri, yeah. <laughs> and it's not Moto Dajamo, it's our mothers that they beat our future badness in out the of, past. Out of the, they beat it in the past? Yeah. So we can't, there's no bad to be bad in the future again. <laughs> That's the reason why you see people committing crime, is because they never they did not, they they did not, not died. They didn't die. That's why. When they were young, when but their mother young. did not say. Uh, they didn't they didn't face, they didn't see, they didn't see the gate of heaven. <laughs> and they didn't see their mother with God negotiating on how your death row will go. You know, I saw it. <laughs> and then I came back to life. See me now. That's why you're asking me questions and I can answer you. I can't be a bad child again. That's why. My only you have prayer. been all the bad that you were going to be. Yeah, so one of my only prayers, the prayer I don't like to pray is, God, let me reap everything. I, I don't want to reap everything I've so. All those, uh, uh, is it that thing? It's not a prayer. For some people, it's a cause. What we have done to our brain, we don't want any child to do it to us. Yeah, I'm one of them. Let Omar do his own. Let him know. <coughs> let him not do what me have done. Let him just do his own. Let him do his own. Yeah. Okay, right. That uh, prompts me now to ask you. So, um, all that thing you were saying there is a true life story. Yes. Good. So, tell me some of the escapades you got into when you were young. Um, it's not... Don't tell me the really, really bad ones. No, no, no. I will not spoil your market like that. No, no, no. There is no really good one like that. <laughs> oh, they were all too bad. You can't uh, tell anyone. No, it, some people can attest to it. You understand? It, what happened to me is not something that happened to just me. It happened to plenty of us. Because even our uncle that is sitting beside you, he knows what, he, he can remember what happened to him at the point when his parents sent him a message. And before he got there, he lost the money. You know, or that you time, use the money to buy sweets. Not even, you don't even need to use it to buy sweets. You know, that time, when you lose money, front you cannot go, back you cannot go. You are stuck in the middle. That's the first time as a child you'll be thinking of suicide. But your suicidal <laughs> thought is not the normal one of, oh, let motor jam you. Mm, it be. You have to look for something big, like, let, as I'm going, and let a plane just come and come and jam somebody. Do you understand? Let like, a plane. A <laughs> plane. That, that's bigger than... Yeah. If you're on plane come, they'll say, ah, I are going power in, they'll say, let's forget that. But if it's motto, my mother, I know my mother, she can say, um, ah, pele kilo she moto, ah, sorry, ah, sorry. Where's the money that I say is left? <laughs> Do you understand? That's that's the kind of mother I have. It's not like she likes money. Though. Even up to now, she's to say, ah, Larry, anytime you talk about me, just know that it's 50-50 K. So ah. that's why I don't I don't like going for did free. Did she always man. want it? Did she always want uh, want you to? Did she, uh, no, she didn't want me to be a comedian yeah. until I gave her money. <laughs> but she didn't like, like money. You said she didn't like money. She she she, she didn't like. It's love. She loved it. She didn't <laughs> like it. <laughs> you understand? So you know. Is your it, mother watching? I hope she's not. <laughs> That's why what they said to me that she I didn't I didn't post it on our family WhatsApp group because I, she, I know I'll be talking about her and she tax me. So, no, but somebody will be watching now, so they will tell her, they will call her now. Uh, he's called it. Are they you watching your son? I'll tell her I've done it since. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, You've but, done it since. No, they, uh, but, but wait. There will be repeats tonight. The, the, wait. The, you, do, you should not repeat what you have done. <laughs> <laughs> it's somebody that feels that I used to repeat. So, don't repeat what you have done already. Let's buy You wanted to say, how, how did she begin to accept your comedy? Uh, yeah, it was when she realized that um, the 95 she had in mind was not going to work for me. How did she know it wasn't going to work? Because um, I'm a professional. I did project management. So okay. I did ITL and I was meant to work with a project management company. 
but even during my course itself, like I'm the only one that is in my set and we're meant to do professional exam. I did not do it because, and they asked me, why didn't I do? And I'm like, I cannot use my money to go and pay for something I know that we fail. Do you understand? So my mom was like, no, this is, this is bad. Like I went, I did the course, I paid for it. But for me to, but I started working, I started work with that and it was working, but it wasn't working. It was too stressful for me. I was struggling at it. But what gave me peace and ease was the fact that I love to make people happy. And, and then I met with some of my friends. I started doing stand And then I started taking stand-up comedy seriously. Not like I stopped. I've been doing it since when I was in school, which is Olabi Sonobanjo University. But I wasn't taking it seriously. I was looking for what to do. Like this one, we can do it on the side. But what, what, what are we doing? So until I took it seriously, then it, it bring you know, forth how'd... fruit. And how'd... then my mother was like, you don't, fruit. don't, don't, don't. I don't like this one. You'll be going out every Saturday. <laughs> and then one Saturday I went out. I came back and I brought... Started with 20k. She was like, ah, Muti Efera Kinikon, am I worried? And I gave them money. I was like, wow. The next day, the same thing happened. She was like, wow. She didn't and ask then she not, when I started, no, she knew I was going out for okay. jobs and the rest of it. Big shout out to Firstborn who took me in and was teaching me and everything. So sometimes when he has two gigs, you ask me to go and do one. I'll do it. You give me something. So it's the something that I was giving me. It wasn't the read, you know, by the time. Something. By the time the routine started coming, my mother was now acting as if I'm my husband. She was now, <laughs> she was now befriending me like, ah, She's listening but, to you. She's not listening to Jesus' name. She was now like, ah, ah, Larry, how will we pay for our strengths now? You know what I'm saying? Me that, they, they be saying, <laughs> you know all those, my mother is, she's a fantastic woman. She'll be singing it <laughs> when you are owing money in the house. She'll be singing it. So she brought us up in a way that we have to take responsibility. So no matter what you are doing there, as a man, you have to pay a bill in the house. So if Nepal should come and cut lights, don't mama. the person who is supposed to pay for lights, ah, no. You, everybody in the house, they are on your case, like, how far? <laughs> There's no light. What's happening? So that kind of thing. There is a story you told before. I don't think Alera is aware of that story. Where you, you threw the pepper mommy said you should ah, be right Ah. <laughs> um, like I said, hmm. sometimes we dedicate our life to <laughs> So my mother has taken it plenty of times. As I, I'm, as I am, no matter the thing I come, I'm going to heaven. Because I've been there too many times. I'm familiar with the area. <laughs> you know, that pepper was, was, was spicy. It was peppery. Because she sent me a message to even now that I'm remembering it's, it's paining me. It was <laughs> telling me. It's paining you. Odum, Odum is gone. Um, she sent me a message. She has gone and grind pepper. She said I should not play ball on the road. That is for bad children. I didn't play. Ball Only is for bad children. The ball on the road, playing ball on the road is for bad children. Okay. It's really, I don't know book that is to play ball on the road. So I didn't play. But our neighbor, Tunji, is own that is the pastor. Tunji now say, now right, let's go and play. And they, they have intended us in Bible knowledge that we should be hearing the voice of God. So I don't think devil can be using Tunji because his daddy is a pastor. His daddy, God calling, my own daddy is calling God and God has no answer. Do you understand? So there is no balance in the equation. As he said, let's go and play. He's like, toss here, Lord, now go and play. I went to play ball. My mother see me. She does as if she did not see me. As, as we go inside, as I see her, she now say, ah, Larry, uh, where were you? She gave me a knock. I did not talk. I said, I, I was reading. She said, yeah. Which reading? Why is your leg brown? Why are you sweating? I say, hey, I say, I'm doing practical of the reading I'm reading. She was like, wow, my worry more bad. The more cooler, practical be. And then when Yoruba woman tell you more bad, the more cooler, just believe her. There's a cooler she's really doing it more. There's a cooler she put it in. So there's and a I went cooler to court she's doing it more. Yeah, mm -hmm. on the more cooler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a cooler she's putting it in. So and I went to cut the pepper. No, to, not like nowadays people grind pepper in their houses. Those days, we used to grab pepper in the pocket. As I was, as I was going, Tunji did not call me. On my way back, when I've grabbed the pepper, on my way back, Tunji did not call me. Like, Larry, I said, hey, he let's quickly play his assets. And I think, I didn't want to play. I wanted to get it behind me, Satan. But 
He's behind me. He's not in front of me. So I cannot say get in front of me, Satan. So I just go and turn back and I look at him. He now says, I said, but I'm not saying that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he can save me that first time, there's only one knock. He can save me the second time. So I now put my paper down. Why are we about to play 1504 pass? Great color. I know the plate number. He match our pose. As he match the pose. You know, I say, ah, Larry, should be your paper is heavy. I say, I say let's quickly use it for Good the pose. <laughs> That's how, that's how. We now use it for the post. As we use it, that's how. <laughs> we now say that we should go to the other side. So I'm on this side. My paper is on that side. Excuse me, ma. Have you watched Matrix before? <laughs> Matrix happened in real life because that day, you know, in Matrix, they'll fire bullet, the whole world will pause. That day, I fire shot, the whole world pause. <laughs> it was not my only ball that was going. I, I now run. To catch up with the ball. But I didn't know it's not me that wrong. It's my spirit. <laughs> my spirit was not with the ball. My spirit was not saying, Larry, I cannot save you. If this ball touches the pepper, you will die. You, you will die. As the ball touched the pepper, the pepper go up. It was not coming down. In, it was not coming down in slow motion. For the first time in my life, 31 boys were talking. I did not hear anything. I was just hearing Beria song. I hope I did it you do. Because I know I've died already. I just carried the pepper. I used my hand to pack the pepper and stand inside uh -huh. the pocket. I was going to my house shouting, Moku, I have died you. Moku, I have died you. As I reach, as I reach, yo, my mother was saying, you will not die in Jesus' name. I don't even bother myself to say amen because I know I will die this day. She, knows, she put me on my dad's chair. I sit down. She give me coke. I eat. She give me Fanta. I drink. She give me biscuits. I eat. She was giving me everything. I was collecting everything because I know it's last supper. I will still die last time. <laughs> Do you understand? There's a reason my Christian name is Imano. It's for such a time as that. So as I was collecting everything, my mother now put oil on the fire. And she opened the baby. She said, Lare. I said, Ma, she said, Wakwele, you know? <laughs> we died this one first. So since that day, me and Pepper, anything Pepper, I don't like again. So, I'm not even eating pepper. It's only vegetable. Why, I eat. why did she give you biscuit and coke and everything? No, because she thinks bad things happen. She knows it's better than her. <laughs> so she give me everything so that maybe I'll calm down because I was crying the cry already. So maybe I'll calm down. So as I was eating it, I know it's last supper. It's last supper. The wages of sin is die. It's not death, it's die. There's nothing between death and die. Death is the one that read people who will die to take them. Die. That one is normal. Like you have to die, 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 die before, before you, you before you eventually before die. Death. Yeah, before mm -hmm. death. Before death. Even okay. that's why the Bible said that if you if I, that meet the apple, you will die. You not say we death. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we are like this. Adam, Adam and Vita, all of <laughs> we have died. Um oh, 14 years. God. What? You don't have questions again. <laughs> 14 years <sighs> after. What has been the the story for you? Was comedy what you thought it would be before you got it? Um Knowing full well that um, everything evolves, like comedy has grown from just being stand up into comedy. I've grown from just being stage to film to series. All those Baba Sue, them Jagged Day Uncle, those are comedy skits and stories and series to stand up comedy, and then has evolved to um, skits making. And then we have some new thing, something new that is also coming up, which I feel like it will take a turn very soon. Ordinary people would even have you ever gone to seeing something funny and then you go to the comment section? You know, you that's a laugh. That's a laugh on its own. So it's that way, it evolves, it grows every single time. So skit makers and stand-up comedians and some people are matching the two together, which is making sense. So as comedy is evolving, you have to evolve with it if you're in the craft. So as the way being a presenter is evolving, you, we all have to evolve with it. The, the way social media is evolving, we all have to evolve with it. So that's that's the way comedy has been. Mm. So you have to move with whatever it is you're doing. As the wind is not the wind, as it's growing, it's a growth. As it's growing, you need to be consistent enough to know, okay, now we have to turn. We have to, yeah. One of the things that I find quite um, intriguing about some comedians now is the level of intelligence and intellect that a good number of, a sizable number of you have. And it only in my head compares with the Trevor Noahs of this world, 
the Kimmels of this world, you know, all those, you know, ones from the West. And some of you find a way to bring comedy into various segments of life. I'm just wondering, do you see an institutionalizing of comedy as these variants that you talk about evolve in such a way that when this generation of comedians have all moved on, the institution is strong enough to bear whatever will come and will never see to the demise or erasure of the comedy industry as it is today? Um, it's, I would say it's very possible. And some the, in comedies, we have the likes of Alibaba, who is actually trying as much as possible to put structure to it. We have the likes of Basketball, who's actually showing Nigerian comedians and African comedians as a whole that there is more you can do than, like, you can decide to be an all genre of comedy and make sense out of it. That's why we have Basket Mouth as a comedian. We have the same Basket Mouth as a skit make, as not skit maker, like, as um, it makes... Um, a dramatist. Yeah. Uh, an actor. Yeah, as an actor. Mm -hmm. And he has a movie coming out very soon. And also, he's also a producer. He produces, mm -hmm. like, other artists, like some a, a, a musician, he did Asha's concerts recently. So it's Basket Mother is involved in that. So he's, so he's pulling, he's, he's, I don't want to use the word, he's sucking the juice out of comedy by bringing that together and make comedians see the fact that you can actually do this. This is something else you can do in the same line of entertainment. So people like Alibaba and Gordons and ONG, they, all the it's i i think the answer to all of this is i think we should actually go to alibaba's page and see some things that he has in stock because he literally has a comedy tv that is about to start and he has all of that in check all of these things you've mentioned he has all of it in check like so if you want to be a comedian you know you have the talent but you need to study some those people have things in there he has a library of his own where you can actually go and do your research and see what comedy. He gave me a book that has changed my life. I'm not very very good with titles, now, but ever since I held on to that book, because I was wondering how someone, one person, how was one person put together 365 jokes in a year? So every year there's one page. Every day. <clears throat> every day there. So. That inspired me, like, if this person can think about it, I should be able to. So it has always driven me, like, okay, so we can. I can actually create something out of my everyday life. I know everywhere that my own kind of comedy is ethical and it's something that has to do with people's everyday, people's experiences. So it has actually helped a lot. Okay. <clears throat> Time hmm. to... Olamri Waju Gregory, otherwise known as Larry J, comedian... Yes. Radio host and actor. That radio host is, you know, I'm not the one that hosts it. It's someone that hosts it. It's not me that writes that thing. It's another person that writes it for me. So I don't know when they put it. <laughs> because when they, so you know, somebody help you do CV, you know, say, your, your, your hobby is swimming. And you know, you can't swim. So you don't need to swim in your family. <laughs> Sorry, bless you. It can't happen to anybody. <laughs> you know, the way it's, it can't happen to anybody. Anybody used to cough like that. Do you understand? <laughs> So the radio was that day. In case there's radio work you want to give me, you can give me how I have not do it before. So to God. They always invite me. Like I've invited him now. And I say I'm the host. I'm not hosting. The host thing. There's about to be hosted on radio. Gregory. I was hosted. They didn't know I'm not the host. Thank you for coming. <laughs>